Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add data from one Google Sheet to another automatically without any duplication. Guys, whether you are managing any project or collaborating with your team or just organizing your data in Google Sheets, it's really crucial to have a clean and efficient method to merge information between two Google Sheets without creating any duplicates. But guys, doing that manually can be really tedious and time taking. But don't worry, we have got you covered here. In this automation video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a simple yet powerful workflow which is going to merge the data between two Google, app, Google Sheets spreadsheets without any duplication error. So without any further ado, let's start. To set up the automation workflow, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And this is the landing page of Pabli Connect. You can find the link of this page in the description. And from here, you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month. After signing up, you can sign in and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. From here, guys, click on this create workflow button. Here you can give a suitable name to this workflow. So let me give a name here. So I have given the name here, Merge Google Sheets Data Without Duplication. Now click on this Create button and you can see the workflow page is loading up here. And on this page, guys, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So these are the basic building blocks of our automation. Trigger is, start, is going to start the workflow and the action would be an automated consequence or the response of the trigger. Here guys, when you click on trigger, it will ask to choose the trigger application. So in our case, adding the data in one Google Sheets spreadsheet is going to trigger the workflow. So Google Sheets will be the trigger application. So search for Google Sheets here and select the trigger event as new or updated spreadsheet row. Okay. And here guys, it will give you the webhook URL and these instructions right here. With the help of this URL, we are going to create a connection with that Google Sheet spreadsheet in which we are adding the data first. Okay. And uh, then we are going to move forward and we'll try to send the data to another spreadsheet without duplication. Okay. So guys, uh, you're familiar with these instructions. Let me show you quickly. So guys, this is my spreadsheet, which I have opened in a new incognito window to make the proper connection. And here guys, this is the sheet in which I want to transfer the data. So here you can see we have this extensions option from the add-ons menu, click on get add-ons. And here you have to install an add-on which is called Pabli Connect Webhooks. So search for Pabli Connect Webhooks. Okay. And you have to install it here. And after installing this add-on, you have to refresh the spreadsheet. And after refreshing, when you click on extensions, you will find this public connect webbox option available from here open the initial setup under initial setup you will find the webhook url field and the trigger column field so in this url field you have to paste the url that you got from your workflow in the column d you have to uh, mention the final data entry column final data column means the column in which you are entering the data finally this means when you start adding any new row here, you, you will start from the column A, then fill the column B, then C and finally the D. So when you when you are going to enter the D column data, the workflow is going to trigger. Okay, now let me uh, just add the URLs. So here I'm copying this URL. So I've pasted the URL and here we have send test button by clicking on it, you can send the test data from your spreadsheet to your workflow. So the first row will be sent as the test data. Let me show you. I have clicked on send test and you can see test data sent successfully start showing up here. Okay. Now you can click on submit. All right. And you can see the setup is configured successfully. Let's check in our workflow. We got the data and here you can see we have received the data right here. All right. Now guys, uh, after getting the data, we can we want to transfer the data to another spreadsheet which is here okay and uh, before sending the data here we want to ensure that we do not want any duplication error so what we are going to do we are going to check if this data 
is already present in the second spreadsheet or not and if it is not present then send the data if it is already present don't create a duplicate okay for that to happen use this action step here guys we are going to connect with google sheets again use the action event now as lookup spreadsheet rows so with the help of lookup i am going to search for any key any value here in this spreadsheet in the second spreadsheet and uh, to check if the data is already present here or not okay just to avoid the duplication so click on connect button from here select add new connection and then click on sign in with google to connect with your google account by which you have created the spreadsheet and after making the connection uh, the connection will be saved in your account and if you want to make the connection again you can use your saved connections like i am doing here i am choosing my saved connections by selecting existing option here you can see the list of my saved connections and you can choose any saved connection from here and click on save and you will be connected again so we are now connected and here it is asking to select the spreadsheet's name so the name of my second spreadsheet is new contacts the previous sheet was this customer service sheet the new sheet the second sheet is this new contacts let me just select it and here it is asking to select the sheet so it is auto populated because i have only one sheet here named as sheet one okay and here it is asking for the lookup column lookup column means the column in which you want to search or look up for any particular value so here guys what i'm going to do I am going to search this phone number which I have here in this customer service sheet and I am going to look for this phone number here in this second sheet okay and if this number is already present I do not want to duplicate it I do not want to create a new entry with the same data okay so we are searching for a unique value here names can be same addresses can be bit of same but the numbers are unique so I am going to look for numbers so here guys uh, the lookup column the lookup column will would be the d column here okay so in the lookup column field put capital d in the lookup value now i'm going to map the data from the previous step here guys we have received the data from the first sheet and here we have received this phone number label now we can map this contact number label here in this lookup value just click here and from the first step map the uh, contact number label okay if you want to include headers in the response you can make it true or false as your wish i'm making it false if you want to sort the value from top you can select top or bottom i'm selecting top now click on save and send test request button all right and here you can see we got this result here and it is showing this response result label which is showing data not found okay this means this data is not present already here in this spreadsheet okay i have looked for this number but this number is not present in the second sheet that means now we can send the data here and uh, create a new row N but uh, here guys to ensure that only new data is going to be sent every time when we add the data in the first sheet for that i'm going to apply a condition and which is going to filter out the new data only for that just click here on this plus icon and use filter by pavli feature here we have filter with the help of filter you can apply some conditional con some conditions here you can see it is asking to select the label select the filter type and put a value here so guys whenever we are going to add the data here in this first sheet which is not already present here in the second sheet this response will be like this only that means the data will not be found will appear here in this uh, lookup spreadsheet rows response okay so i want that whenever this response result label exists here in this response then only the workflow should continue and create a new entry otherwise if this label is present here in the response the workflow should stop and do not create a duplicate entry for that to happen 
I am going to select this label first from the previous step. You can see as I am clicking here, the previous steps are appearing. From the second step, map this response result label. Now, now select the filter type as exists. Okay. So when you are going to get a new entry, a new data, which is not already present, this response result label is going to exist in this response. So I have selected the filter type. This response result label exists. Click on save and send test request. And here you can see the condition is true. So whenever this condition matches true, the workflow will continue and create a new entry. And for creating a new entry, click here on this plus icon. And from the section step, connect Google Sheets again. Okay, so I'm going to create, uh, I'm going to connect with the same sheet to update the sheet. So just select the action event as add new row. Click on connect. Choose existing option, existing connection. Click on save. Here select the sheet's name again, which is new contacts. All right, then select the sheet, which is already selected. And here you can see these fields are here. Customer name, location, service data, service date, and the number, which is which are the headers of the columns I have here. Okay, so now it's time to uh, map the values of these fields to create a new entry. And to create the new entry, we are going to map the new data that we have received here in the first step. So to map the data, you just have to come here, click here on this customer name field. From the first step, map the name label in the customer name field, map the location in the location field, map the service date and the customer contact number. Okay. Now by clicking on save and send test request button, you can create a new entry here and a new row, row will be added here in this sheet. Okay. Here I'm clicking on save and send test request button. All right, this is the response we got here. Let's check in our spreadsheet if we got a new data added. And here you can see a new row is added here. And the only difference here is that you can see the number is changed because this is the new number I have added here. Okay, I've just changed this thing to show you the demo. If you are having completely new data, it will be entered. No, uh, no duplicate error will be there because we have searched for a unique thing inside this workflow and it ceases to exist. There is no entry found. So that's why we have created the entry. Okay. So this is how it is going to work guys. So we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once. After that, it is going to trigger every time you are going to add any new row here with new data and it is going to trigger for every new row, but it is going to check if this data is original or new or not with the help of filter. And if it present, if it find out that it is uh, completely new, the data will be sent to your second sheet automatically. And I'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description so that you can clone this workflow in your own free Babli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.